Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how I got the Race for Germany achievement. First, take the path of Marxism-Leninism. Set your research thoughts to do research speed upgrades and industry for now. Build civilian factories in your high infrastructure states. Now, just pay attention to how many factories I put on each bit of equipment. Don't forget to trade to get rid of resource shortages. Now select your entire army and break them up into 6 armies with 5 having 24 divisions and 1 having 18 divisions. Then assign one army each to your border with Estonia, Latvia, and Finland. Don't forget to set your troops the highest motorization priority. Now you can start the game. Take the center as your next focus. Take the option that gets you extra war support when the Turks start to remilitarize the Bosporus. Then take heavy industry next. Then, do the Stalin Constitution. You should also move up to limited conscription when you can. Then, take the Zeno Viavite Terra Center next. Then, take Secure the Administration. Also, hire the popular figurehead for some extra stability. Then, take Socialism in one country. Then, take the Collectivization process next. Around this time, you should dedicate at least one or two research slots to upgrading your infantry equipment. Then wait one day after completing this focus and take the anti-Soviet Trotskyites center next. Then take the workers' dictatorship after that focus finishes. Then make sure to forge satisfactory documents once paranoia hits 20 while you're taking this focus. Also, keep building civilian factories. Then take centralization and discipline next. Next, take War Economy. Make sure to accept the German-Soviet Treaty. After the War Economy focus is complete, wait one day and then take the Military Conspiracy focus next. Make sure to avoid purges on your Air Force and Army, but allow purges on your Navy. Then take Behead the Snake and begin building a spy network to assassinate Trotsky in Mexico. After your agency is formed, hire the Elusive Gentleman. Take infrastructure effort next. As said before, you should use your spy agency to assassinate Trotsky in Mexico. Then finish the five year plan. Around this time, I'd recommend doing an inspection in the Navy to try to avoid an unavoidable purge of the Army or Air Force. Then take national specialists as your next focus. Don't forget to assign a new field marshal if your previous one was purged. Now, wait one day after the focus finishes and take the Block of Rights and Trotskyites next. After this focus finishes, paranoia should no longer be a problem. Then take the Common Turn next. Then take Baltic Security. After that, take Claims in the Baltics. Then take Secure Leningrad. Now you should have enough political power to send an ultimatum to all of the Baltic countries. Then hire the Army Reformer Expert. After Secure Leningrad finishes, you should go for the research slot under the development focuses. Around this time, you should start researching heavy MGs, Engine 3s, and the improved airframe. I'd also recommend adding an engineer company and a recon company to your main infantry divisions. At the beginning of 1939, you should also start building military factories. I'd also recommend hiring the ground support expert.
After you finish getting an extra research slot, use it to get anti-tank cannons for your planes. Then take the third five-year plan. Also, you should definitely accept the molotov ribbentrop Pact. Once you start getting extra military factories available, you should put 10 on support equipment and 10 on artillery. Next, you should hire the army regrouping expert. Then take strengthen the mobilization plan next. Then take cohesion first. Then put 20 factories on guns. Then do rehabilitated military. Then make a copy of your main infantry division and turn it into a 14-4. Then start training 48 divisions of this new template. When Germany honors the pact, redraw your field marshal order to cover your border with them. Then assign your one army with 18 divisions to the Hungarian border. Also, you should build a supply hub on your border with Hungary so your troops there don't get encircled and make sure to connect to the rest of the railways. Hire the concealment expert to reduce the effect of the German Air Force. After rehabilitated military finishes, take claim on Bessarabia next. Now you should put 20 factories on infantry equipment and artillery. Next, take military reorganization. With the 14-4 divisions, you need to split them up into two armies and assign them to a field marshal order on the Romanian border. Once you finish researching the improved small airframe, make new airplane templates. After you get these new planes designed, start building airports in eastern Poland and the Baltics. Then take experts in camouflage next. Then take transpolar flights. For your next four focuses, do foster flying clubs, intensify pilot training programs, ground sport, and the modern war in the skies. While you do these focuses, train 72 more divisions. Then put them on lowest equipment priority because of what you will be doing next. Then select each army and hold shift and click on the exercise button for all of them. Then change all of your divisions except for the 14 fours into infantry divisions while they exercise. Also, put more factories on infantry equipment as you'll need a lot of it. Around this time, you should also start upgrading your support companies. Also, make sure that your second field marshal order is only on the Romanian border as sometimes it will change when Hungary gets Transylvania. Then put 50 factories on infantry equipment. I'd also recommend doing a collaboration government in Germany if you can. Also, start upgrading your infantry equipment now. After you finish the modern war in the skies, do expand the aircraft industry next. Once the Germans begin justifying on you, you should deploy the remaining divisions in training and assign them to a new field marshal order on the German border. Then take modernized aircraft facilities. Now start deploying airplanes in eastern Poland. Then put these planes on air superiority and close air support over eastern Poland. Also, you should move up to extensive conscription. Once Germany declares war, you need to pay attention to any battles being lost and make sure you don't get encircled.
Also, you should build up anti-air in eastern Poland to give your air force a boost in defending the airspace. Make sure to go down Battlefield Support Doctrine for the air. Then go down the right path of the Mass Assault Doctrine. Start putting more factories on your fighters and close air support to make sure you can keep up with your losses. Take desperate measures next. Hire the light aircraft designer for some extra bonuses to your air force. Then take an adaptable army next. After a while, the Axis Air Force should be very weakened, allowing the front line to stabilize more and more. Next, take Women in Aviation. Then, take Raskova's Aviation Group. Then, hire the Close Air Support Expert. Then, take Expand Aviation Institutes. Then, take Addressing Internal Affairs as your next focus. Then, take the new Soviet woman next. At the end of August 1942, the German army should be weak enough to be encircled in regions you have sufficient air superiority in. I recommend doing these encirclements one at a time. Take Expand the Adroprop next. Then take Lessons of War. Also, don't forget to add traits to your generals to give extra bonuses to your troops. Take military political advisors as your next focus. You may begin to have trouble getting aluminum, so I'd recommend switching to closed economy to deal with this. Then take the glory of the Red Army next. Once you've made one or two big encirclements, or if the Allies have landed in France or Italy, set up an offensive and put air support over the German territory to crush them. At this point, you should quickly overrun Germany, so focuses and whatnot don't matter anymore. After Germany capitulates, you should get the achievement as long as the Allies didn't take a core state in Germany. Now have fun wiping out the Axis. I hope this video helped, and if it did, why not subscribe so we can hit 1,000 subscribers.